Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know that I have interacted to Who Are You uh, from Ben Ben featuring Silgi just yet, but I will probably do it in the Catching Up on K-pop. You know, I have put up a poll over on Patreon and like the patrons are voting currently for the music videos that I will react to. So I will most probably react to it during the Catching Up on K-pop. So like, I just wanted to put it out there since some people are still like requesting me to react to it. So don't worry, like I'm, it's, it's coming up, it's coming up. So anyways, this is the actual comeback. So from what I understand, this song is actually like, a collabor no, no, um, I don't know if you would call it a co collaboration, but like, I read that Bim Bim worked with Pink Sweets. I don't know how you say it. I'm afraid I don't know how to pronounce his name. But at least I'm sorry. I know of his work and I know that he's worked previously with like some other K-pop artists and everything. So I'm really, really freaking curious and excited to see how this is going to be sounding like. And also today is not the day for like music videos and songs that are last longer than 30 minutes. I just complain about, complain about it uh, with Victon as well, since the music video wasn't even three minutes long. But then again, hey, I don't want to be sounding greedy or whatever. So I'm just going to take what's being given to me and appreciate uh, the work and effort and time and energy that was put into it. Because I can only imagine, you know, the the, the amount of work and, and everything that was put into it. So yeah, I guess I'm not gonna complain and just appreciate uh, that it is here. Uh, so yeah, I have the English captions on. Slow mo, let's go. Goose? No, that's not a goose. Is that a goose? Gooses? How come he makes this outfit look good? I love the freaking profile in the B. Isn't that a scene in like Romeo and Juliet? I can't help but like snap my fingers. How come every Bim Bim song make me feel like I'm levitating? He is so freaking dreamy and he's selling us dreams. I somehow feel like I've been... I feel like I'm on a cloud. Like I said, his voice and the whole atmosphere of this song feels like it made me feel lighter and like I'm floating. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like it, it really created an atmosphere of like... It feels very cushiony, very, very soft. 
and very comfortable. I think, yeah, I think I feel very comfortable right now as if I was, you know, uh, laying on a very comfortable mattress and like under a blanket. And so I feel very warm and comforted in this environment. And that's, I think that's what he created just right there with the, the song and his voice. This is what I would imagine lucid dreaming to be like if it was pleasant, you know, like I know there's like bad experiences with lucid dreaming, but like, but like if I could control my dreams and everything and lucid dream, and make it like a good thing, it would probably look something like this. The aesthetic of this whole thing is superb. It's like the whole music video feels very grounded in reality, but then stuff that doesn't feel real happen. Like the tank with the fishes, but like they're origami fishes. You know what I mean? So I just love how the butterfly ties everything together. So like the music video starts, I mean, it doesn't start, but like the whole story starts with the butterfly at the beginning and then at the end we see it as well so like it's it go, it's going full circle this really made me feel really at peace you know and even though it's called slow motion i felt like sometimes the pace was a lot faster than i was expecting but even though the pace was faster than i was expecting it still it still made me feel calm i feel like even though i was you know closely following god seven all of these years and everything i am only now starting to realize the potential of Bem Bem and like everything that he is capable of. It's almost like when he was under, you know, JYP and everything, JYP kind of gave me some type of like glasses that would look only towards di this direction. But like all these times, all these times Bem Bem had like the whole periphery open, you know, and I just didn't realize it until he signed under Abyss. And like now I got to remove those glasses that JYP kind of like made me wear all these years and only now am I realizing all of the skills that he has and the potential and how much he has grown and like how much more he can grow in the future you know like I love the position that I'm in right now where I'm discovering uh and witnessing the growth of an artist and this is the type of moment where I'm like you know uh grateful for a company for letting that artists grow and expand and discover and you know try things and everything i like seeing that like artistic freedom looks great on him and that freedom allows him to do stuff like this and i'm like very very grateful to be able to be witnessing that if that makes sense i'm grateful period i think this is my conclusion you know like, thank you Bim Bim, for doing what you do there you go <laughs> anyways yeah i'm gonna stop you here thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye